Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at every LEGO minifigure scale Hulkbuster armor that has been produced in LEGO. There are six of them, even though technically this one and this one are not Hulkbuster armors, I'm still counting them because they're made in the Hulkbuster style. Up first, we're going to take a look at the earliest LEGO Hulkbuster from 2015. Up first, we have the Hulkbuster from the LEGO set 76031, the Hulkbuster Smash. This was an Avengers Age of Ultron LEGO set from 2015. This is the first time we got the Hulkbuster in LEGO form. It's a very good first attempt. Taking a look at the arms first, both designs are both the same, with the exception of this one having two stud shooters here. This one just having a gold piece. If you open up the hands, you can see there's a repulsor blast right there. Same on this side. The stud shooters have studs with barrels attached. Those shoot just like that. They copy that design for the summer of 2020, just with the modified bullet pieces. Moving down to the legs, the legs are very good. They do have a tendency to fall over. If you look, they're bowed slightly like this, kind of like a satyr legs. And if you're not careful, it'll fall forward. The legs are very good though. And I do like the way they form. The Hulkbuster is at a good size. Moving up, you see the arc reactor in the center here. The helmet lifts up. It's connected with two skeleton arms in translucent blue. Their minifigure inside fits in like this. You can pull up the shoulder pieces here. On the side, there are the wing pieces here and here. Those cover the sides of the build here. If you took them away, you'll be able to see right through. Putting that back. The whole chest piece folds forward. It's attached with two studs right here and here. The minifigure sits in nicely in the center. Closing that back up. Overall, I think it's a very good Hulkbuster. And it compares decently with the other ones. The size leaves much to be desired. Moving the most recent Hulkbuster in, you can see it's a good head taller and it's definitely a lot wider. Overall, this is a very good first attempt though and a very enjoyable build. It would take three more years until we got our next Hulkbuster. This one coming in LEGO set 76104, the Hulkbuster smash up. It was an Avengers Infinity War set from 2018, but this design I love. It improves upon the last design so, so much. The legs are much sturdier and they're much bulkier. They have a lot of good designs and details and there's a bunch more stickers all over the place, adding different tons of detail. If you look on the arms, the repulsor blasts are stickered instead of just tiled. The design is much more steady. It's got toes as well, and you can rock it back and forth, hit it a couple times. It stays on its feet pretty well. I just knocked it over though. Starting at the arms, they're attached with these socket joints here, and they can pull off quite easily. There's a shoulder armor piece here. Moving on to the arms, there was actually an error in my building instructions. It had you build the arms um, times two at the same time. However, it had you apply the sticker. So if you built it right, this sticker would be here and this sticker would be on the other side of the build. Just, just something to keep an eye on. Moving the build around, see this little bit that's sticking out right here. When you detach that, it can move the arm around like that. There should be a little plate that goes in there. I took it off for display so the arm doesn't just dangle, but you can have the fist go up and down. You can smash anything that's in your way. Let's bring over another uh, truck real quick. You can, you can hit the truck if you want. It's a good play feature, but it does leave the arm dangling unless you lock it into place. The helmet here is attached by two, two droid arms as opposed to the skeleton arms from last year. And you can see inside we have Bruce Banner. The whole chest doesn't open up. Instead, these three pieces slide open and you can pull Dr. Banner out. He's attached with that piece instead of studs. It does work very well. Closing that back up, you can see the arc reactor here and two stickered prints. Overall, very good Hulkbuster. Definitely my favorite iteration and a very faithful Hulkbuster to the movie. The next year, 2019, gave us two different Hulkbusters. This one was the War Machine Buster. This one is the Igor armor found in the Hall of Armor set. This one, Igor, I'm not sure if it counts, but it's an Iron Man style build, so I'm definitely counting it. Let's take a look at the War Machine Buster first. The War Machine Buster came in LEGO set 76124, called the War Machine Buster, funnily enough. It was for Avengers Endgame, although this build never made an appearance in that movie. This is a heavily, heavily armored Hulkbuster. It's a very similar design to the last one we got. You can see the similarities in the chest here and the helmet, but this one has a giant stud shooting cannon mounted on top with a really good turn feature. Watch them all like that. Oh, those went everywhere. And there are flick missiles on the top here. You can shoot those out like that. And there are stud shooters on the arms here and on the other side. Like I said, very heavily armored. The legs have some very nice detailing. Let's move the arms up. They're free to move in multiple directions. And you have the stickered plate right here, as well as the toes. They are three separate connections, but they work together very nicely. Moving up to the arms, 
They're locked in place at the elbow joint. This can rotate in a full circle and the shoulder can move up and down, but you can't remove this joint right here. There's an armor piece up at the top. The build is repeated on the other side. Opening up the Hulkbuster, you can say I have War Machine inside. He's wearing his Quantum Realm suit. Taking that out, there is a little hole in here that you can put all the studs from the can if you don't wanna have them or if you wanna keep the extras inside. They're in a bin right beside me right now though. Closing this up, I do like these pieces right here. They kind of cover up the bulky arm part of the mech. Makes it look more complete, more armored. Taking a look back, you can see you can move this cannon up and down and around. Overall, I quite like this Hulk Buster, War Machine Buster, sorry. However, it's not quite my favorite because it's never appeared in any book or movie that I've read. Overall though, a very nice addition to the Iron Man Armory. The other Hulk Buster style build from this year was the Igor armor from the Iron Man Hall of Armor set 76125. I found myself being very, very disappointed in this Igor. It's very bulky and you can see the Iron Man straight through it. It's not very well designed and I've seen different, uh, many custom mocks that are much, much better. There are, two, there are two stickers on the legs, two more stickers on the arms. This right here is a print, not a sticker, thankfully. This whole top lifts up, this pulls down, then these two side pieces come out, and you can pull the Iron Man minifigure off, attached by two studs right there. The mech can close up without a minifigure inside, and it looks pretty good for display. The fingers are made with these pieces right here. There are repulsors on both of the hands, but it's a very small, simplistic build, and I'm just not finding myself a fan. It really seems that LEGO wants to mass-produce Hulkbusters after that three-year gap, because we had two in 2019, two in 2020, and one back in 2018. These sets came out in the summer of 2020 and in the winter of 2020. This one is massive. We're going to take a look at it second, but as you can see, it didn't even fit in the review space. This set first is the Iron Man mech at set 76140. This is uh, the mech line that had the Thanos mech, the Spider-Man mech, and the Venom mech. It's a very nice build. I like how it fits in with all the other mechs I have. The Thanos mech being right here, and the Venom mech being over here. They all look very good when displayed together. However, taking those away and adding in a Hulkbuster, it leaves this set looking very small and not quite as impressive. Taking a look at the set itself, you can see there are stickers up here on both shoulders. This right here is a print, because that'd be a terrible sticker to put on. And there's stickers down at both feet. The arms and the legs are rather small. There are repulsor blasts on the inside here. And the whole chest piece opens up down here. And you can pull out your Iron Man minifigure. He stands on one of those split pieces that originally debuted in the Friends line. There are very nice gold decorations all along the minifigure or sorry, mech, using the gold ingot pieces. And on the top, he's got a stud shooter cannon. Pushing this in will launch the disc studs. It's a very nice cannon piece. Overall, this is a very cute set, and I think it's $10 price point makes it a little better, but it's still definitely not one of my favorite of the Iron Man mechs. Moving on, we have the set that came out this summer. This is the Iron Man... Hulkbuster versus AIM Agent, set number 76164. However, it should be called AIM Agents because there were two in the set. You can expect a full review of this very soon. However, we're just going to go over the small details right now. There's a little detachable shoulder cannon with the rescue armor. This set is unique as it has two Iron Mans in it. All the other sets just had one. These missiles shoot like so, very aggressively. Let's take that to the side. This one has a very flat dome piece. From far away, it looks kind of derpy, but up close, when you rotate it down, it does look rather impressive. This just lifts up. Iron Man sits inside with his computer. This Hulkbuster is based on the comics, and it looks very good when you look at that kind of uh, art style, but based on the MCU, it's not my favorite. When I first purchased this, I thought it was very, very small. Then I got it home, put it next to my other Hulkbusters. This is the one from 2018, and it's very, very large especially when you look at the one from 2015, right next to it. It's a good couple inches taller. The one problem I have with this set is the knee joints are locked. Because of the way they have these uh, arms here, you can't move that. You can rotate the feet front to back a little bit, tiny bit side to side, but there's not too much articulation. That all comes from the hip joint and the legs right there. This whole top can spin around. <laughs> My lance on the, flit on the fritz, I should get a new one. The arms right here can move up and down. There's armor pieces here and here. 
and the arms can swing forward and back. So you can make some running poses. Very nice. Overall, this one is growing on me quite a lot. It might be one of my second favorite Hulkbusters. But now let's take a look at them all lined up and I'll give you my final verdict. Lining up all the sets like this, I can definitely say that the 2018 Avengers Infinity War Hulkbuster is my favorite by far. Second place would have to go for the one this summer, the uh, comic book based Hulkbuster. Third favorite, it's gotta go to the War Machine Buster. I just love all the different cannons and armor pieces. It takes the idea of our Hulkbuster and adds to it War Machining-izing it, and you can definitely tell the inspiration when you look at the War Machine minifigure. Third favorite, it's gonna be this mech right here. For its $10 price point, it has one of the best price per piece ratios, and back when it came out, it was the only way to get this exclusive Iron Man minifigure, who is very common nowadays. Next is gonna be the one from Infinity, well, from not Infinity War, excuse me, Age of Ultron. It was a very nice first start to the uh, Hulkbuster. As you can see, it's definitely grown from there. But in last place is definitely gonna be this Igor build. I really hope LEGO improves upon it in the future. This is very disappointing if that's all we ever get. But that has been my review and look at all the different minifigure scale Hulkbuster armors. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.